Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching episodes seven and eight of The Sopranos. What'd you think of the last two episodes? Intense couple of episodes. Yeah, for sure. We had some really crazy dream sequences, this whole revelation with Gloria, and then we had like the arty situation with like the French guy. Yeah, and then him kind of ending up being indebted to Tony, Ralphie and his horse, who is now Tony's now Tony. horse, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> whole situation with money and Tony's kind of greed coming out. So it was definitely an interesting couple of episodes, even, you know, throwing in some storylines with AJ and like the privilege of growing up rich, but then oh, right. not as rich as you think you are. Yeah, she's a Pillsbury. Yeah, Pillsbury dough girl. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely some interesting episodes. I think this season has continued to be on the, I guess, more depressing and quieter side. Yeah, pretty dark pretty dark and i feel like so far it's just been a lot of building and building and i assume at some point things are just going to explode or maybe not this season i don't know but it's still the same sopranos that we love and still super excited to see what happens next yeah me too so if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this as well as everything else that we've reacted to the link to our patreon is in the description if you would like to interact with us on our twitch instagram or twitter all those links are in the description as well and with that let's get into the episodes what do you hear? What do you say? Oh, free from prison. Oh, you guys. If I don't see her each day. Oh, is it just the music? I thought they were looking at something. No, I think it's just the music. New York's there. Yeah, so. right? Say hello to Brian Camarado, Com's cousin. The financial guy. He's bringing this financial guy around a little too much. Yeah. You know, she almost lost the spot of Queen Grove. Well, you went back here 30 seconds. Yeah, he immediately starts asking for more. This guy's having a good time. It's getting a little too corrupted. I assume Carmela's gonna be real pissed. Isn't there some law about testifying against your husband? Richard and I were married night before last in Reno. Oh, oh. I was like, where is this going? Someone's gonna get married. Subvert the intent of the marital privilege. I wanna get married. <laughs> you sleep there? Is this the accountant? Yeah. Any investment advice? Buy land, I guess. God ain't making any more of it. Interesting. You get a front man to buy houses in some crummy neighborhood. Nonprofit organization who goes to HUD. Oh, shit. So he just came up with a scam. Well, he got it from someone else, but I guarantee you Tony's going to run with that. Furio. Who you calling? Furio, you're going to get yourself in trouble. I leave my sunglasses in some place. I don't know. Oh. But I get the pictures from the Oswald finally. Pretty one of you. Well, that's sweet. I see you soon. Furio, you're gonna get yourself killed. So this group you got now, the Urban Housing League. Like many nonprofits, we um fallen on hard times. Well, it sounds like you three got a lot to talk about. I feel like this is exactly what you guys were talking about earlier. Either Tony doesn't want in or he's making Ralphie do it. Yeah. Once HUD guarantees the mortgage app, you take it to the bank. They cut a check. Unforeseen construction delays and forced the project into dissolution. Wow. My office will write a letter in strong support of your application. Damn. Just like that. From idea to just conception. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Remember that time in Atlantic City? You brought Arena, your old girlfriend? Arena and I are seeing each other. Oh. I've been meaning to tell you. I feel like I owe you an explanation. What am I? Your father? <laughs> I care for her. Very deeply. Roz and I are separated. Wow. Hot also wants what the dick wants. <laughs> <laughs> so he just asked for Tony's blessing to be with his old side chick? Oh, is this the same store that Sal Pussy used to come to? Oh, maybe. I was Christopher anyway. Stop asking about him like you give a shit. How's he doing with his drug problem? He doesn't have a drug problem. Oh, yes, he does. How are you doing, Aid? Stressed because of you. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we're thinking of finally getting married. Did that put some fear into the FBI? The great grandfather helped build that almost 80 years ago. Came over from Avelina with four dollars in his pocket. Is this the same conversation he had with Meadow? Every Sunday, Italians from the old neighborhood, they drive miles to keep this place alive. That's how come we never do. <laughs> Buy land, AJ, because God ain't making any more of it. Nice, come up with that yourself. Hey, this is advice I'm imparting to you as your father. 
I've always wanted to just buy land. Not making any more of it. I know, yeah. <laughs> buy real estate. Favo? Uh, yeah, I'm Starsky and this is Hutch. <laughs> Unless you want something, motherfucker, get the fuck off our street. The language on you. You blow your father with that mouth? Oh. So that's a crack hole. Crack ass off my motherfucking block. Come on, ease up. She's really gonna marry him? Damn. I think it's more likely to have the opposite effect. His huh. problems really become her problems. Like a benefit. The Lettos never had kids. I wouldn't count on children. You bitch. Nature really does weed out the Nimrods. As you clean ketchup off your tie? I say neutral or supportive. Agreed then. They have our blessing. To the happy couple. What a strange conversation. So it doesn't really mess with their plans at all. I mean, they were never trying to get Christopher. Yeah, that's true. And they're not really expecting her to like go on trial to testify against Christopher. They just want information about Tony. Right. You're going to buy four houses on Garside Street? Keep on keeping them. This is going through quickly, especially because those houses didn't look like they were for sale. No. Thought it would take some convincing. Now, what neighborhood is this? It really would have been better if we met over at Denny's. What are you worried about? Is she there? Oh, maybe. Get the donut squad to go down there and rouse the shit bags. How about Tony? Uh oh. How you doing, hon? I'm very good. No, I'm very well. She's taking a class at the community college. Nice. Sound great. Awkward. I mean, he got his blessing, so. Must be $7,000 a cup of pipe in there. Fuck, I'll figure it out. Better figure it out. Let's get married. Whoa. <laughs> he already proposed a little while ago. You can't have a club, stay out all night getting high when you have a kid. Ooh, haven't had that conversation yet. What if we didn't have kids? Fuck that, what's the point of being married? My uterus got pierced. Both of them? There's only one. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. <laughs> you knew you were damaged goods and you never fucking told me? Damaged goods? We could have died. Yeah, that's great. Some kid with chinky eyes called Malta Santi. Whoa. You said you'd still love me. That doesn't mean I'll fucking marry you. Oh my god. Yeah, get him, dog. <laughs> Fuck it. Talk to the FBI now. She stood by you, right? What are you gonna end up like my Uncle Junior? Or worse, like Polly. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, Tony and Silvio telling us stop being a piece of shit. Are you supposed to be perfect goods? Get some of your people to handle it. People of color. You run a youth gang outreach program, don't you? Oh my god, use people from a youth gang outreach? I'm putting it all on the line if I get caught. Oh, you get some kid, throw them some money. It's about the seven grand. Seven grand's not that much money, considering how much money they're making in total. Mm -hmm. Guys like Tony? You don't fool around with these people. So Tony put it on him, and then he put it on him. Why did they not do, like, their due diligence yeah. before they purchased it? Right? Your anger manifests itself in physicality. Hey, I never laid a finger on you. You threw my tissue holder. Yeah, and then <laughs> I picked it up. <laughs> I was very upset. You withheld information about a very sensitive subject. About another patient. I got accosted by these crackheads, but I let it go. I'll ask that you extend to me the same courtesy you would a crack addict. <laughs> got him with that one. Wendy Cobbler, that half ass adolescent shrink. Oh, Meadow. Bitch almost sent my daughter to Barcelona. It's true. You're right, it's no excuse. Get him. I love you. Why can't we get married? That was the weakest apology. It wasn't even an apology. First person I've told. We'll decorate the whole house with mum. Mums. Who got sent? What? Remember, just shoot the ceiling and shit. This is gonna go so bad. Oh, there's babies in there. Get the fuck out my house, motherfucker! Oh. Fucker got a knife. Oh, kid. Where did they just shoot him? I think they shot and then it like ricocheted. Dr. Freed, 1,300,000. Congratulations. 1.3 million? Fraser really came through. $15,000 watch, don't I can't take this. They made hundreds of thousands. Down here with Bry. Just borrowing some tools. Oh, you're already lying to Carmella? Thank you for this, really. <laughs> take some tools. At least Tony knows how to cover his tracks. Cheerio. 
Furio. Hi, good morning. Come in, what are you doing out in the cold? Today I'll wait in the car, I think. Well, okay. You trying to separate himself? Yeah, I'll let Tony know you're here. Oh, I feel bad for Furio. Run away together. Sinking some anchors for uh, Walmir. Didn't buy it. <laughs> no. I don't like this connection. Fucking Tony. Not one visit. You know the feds. You give someone the time of day, it's a criminal conspiracy. Surprised he... Defending him? Yeah. I tell you my problems, you tell me yours. This shit don't leave the table, right? Of course it's leaving. He just said he spoke to Tony about the last time. Right. Taking the copper. Is it gonna be a nice house here now? Sorry, kid. They're just gutting it. My wife can't testify against the husband. Oh, right. I don't think that's actually true. Damn. I always thought that was true. Yeah, I thought it was true, too. I gotta stop committing so many crimes. Three, the communication can't be made in furtherance of a crime. Can you start over? Rico, the feds will spend a fortune putting on their case. If they want you to testify, they're gonna find a way. Round you up to even 60 Gs. 60 grand? A lot of poor families need affordable housing in North. I don't know how many times you can do this before it starts getting super suspicious. Yeah, that all of it falls through. Right. Oops. Didn't finish these houses either. I feel like he's falling asleep. Yeah, or is he crying? Who's he thinking of? The Russian? Sony? You got anything to drink? In his own house? What's going on? Well, we can talk about whatever's bothering you. What are you doing? He asked you. The girls in New Jersey, you had to fuck this one? That was a psycho ending. Here, I made it with a lot of milk. Oh, he's back in the house. You're coming back. I'm up, so. Immigration, they make problems. Oh, what? Maybe because his dad's sick? You should be on your way to see your old man. Kanza don't respect nothing. He's starting his guns. You cuts. need any money? Yeah, Tony. he was trying to talk to you. You know, I have to get to somebody else to drive you tonight. Polly. Well, I got a very important meeting, that's all. Oh! This is the important meeting? Sounds the life of leisure. Playing golf, ain't I? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's good you're pulling back business-wise like we agreed. Get a pen of paper. Shoot. On the pillow? Seven and a half to me, two and a half to Paulie. Figure out who pays the Longshore Union, how much. I back you up with Jeff. The fuck? Gotta get some paper. Uncle Junior's lot on Freeling Heights and Avenue. It all went into the trust. T-bills. I was able to lock you in before the uh, rage job. T-bills? I don't know what a T-bill is. I'm not a feminist. I'm not saying 50-50, but Jesus. You know, I put up with this Gumar shit. Isn't your cousin Brian handling your money now? Tony pulls people into his circle. He definitely does. I think something bad is gonna happen to that guy. Yeah. You don't feel good, huh, big girl? Man, he's really becoming a horse expert. Can you come here a sec? I think I have something in my eye. Maybe you need more light. It's good luck to step in horse shit. Is it? It's true. Then why aren't you people walking around all day <laughs> looking for piles of horse shit? Damn, what a joke. You Tony. Tony Risky trusted him to have a sense of humor. Right? Did you think it was funny? Yeah, but what I think is funny is what an eight year old boy thinks is funny. <laughs> There's an artist down in New Hope. Give him a photo of your horse. He paints a beautiful portrait. Give me a call. Tony took his horse and he's about to take this girl. <laughs> she said she wanted to see you before you went down for lunch. Oh, cookie. Look. <laughs> Let's go down to the chuck wagon and see what they're rustling up. Is this uh, Green Grove? Yeah. Cookie, are you here too? Not yet, but it's all paid for. When I was a kid, you two were old ladies. Now I'm old and you two are still old. <laughs> Make sure that she knows she can't sit with me and Min and our other girls. What? We're a set group. There's really no room at either table. What the fuck? They're like, have their own little old people clicks? This is how simple it is to change inputs. Get a new uh, TV installed? So loud. I feel like I've never seen this room. Wait, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Enjoyed it a little too much. I'd love to paint her. But what about this deadbeat? Can you leave me in there and just crop him out? <laughs> and it comes frame. Exactly as you see that one. 6,500. Whoa. All right, you got a deal. Start painting horses. <laughs> well, let's not forget to drink to the beautiful senorita. I bet you say that to all the girls. There's not that many. There's quite a few. 
If you want on the way, we can stop and eat something. Uh, doesn't sound like eating. This is Ralphie's girlfriend, right? Yeah, and he just beat up a guy last episode for his past girlfriend. Uh-oh. Oh, is she going to play a prank? I don't think he's going to find it nearly as funny when it's on him. <laughs> you did this. I thought you had an eight-year-old sense of humor. <laughs> we will not be mentioning anything about any of this to Ralph. I'll take it. Can you send it to uh, this person? Here? Damn, Tony, really? Already buying her jewelry? Yeah, why would you put your name on that? He still put his name on that. I feel like Ralphie's gonna see this. For the love of God, Nucci, how could you hit on 18? Oh. That should have been my card. I could have had oh, 21. Yeah. Ought to play roulette. It's right over there. Oh, man, getting kicked out? Damn, what a bitch old lady. Oh, is he gonna play a prank? You did that to me on our honeymoon. I didn't like it then. <laughs> this is one promise I would like you to keep. Well, that went south. I was trying to have some fun. No more glasses. I had the LASIK. And your face cleared up pretty good too, huh? Cleared up in 10th grade. <laughs> Ninth was my list. <laughs> They're both residents. But there seems to be an exclusion. I'm just asking you to talk to your ma. See if she can include my ma in more with the group. I don't think it's the other lady. It's not. I don't <laughs> think so. For all the bad I did, I'm still capable if I don't watch myself. Oh, man. I'll talk to my ma, see what she says. Whatever you can do. Better get this done. Oh, the nail! Uh... Oh, Tony. What's up? Saying how we decided to give a bigger percentage to the union guys and the customs guys. God damn it. It's exactly what I was trying to avoid. You gave them this job. I'm trying to free myself up to do a little global thinking. Hello, beautiful people. About to be awkward. Nice to see you again. Yeah, same here. To get her uh, nails done. I'm fucked with the salt shaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I'm gonna make a call. I don't want your consolation prize. Does she fuck you better than me? Suck your dick better than me? What the fuck? Are you jealous? How come I can't see you again? Because you fuck Ralph, but I do got rules. What rules? I just don't want to be where Ralph Cifaretto has been. You prick. You don't know anything. He doesn't fuck me. I mean, they probably don't technically have sex. She probably just puts stuff up his butt. I mean, Ralph is having sex. <laughs> yeah, why is Carmela at this dinner either? It's all the gumas or whatever. Is that what it is? How did she just get a hunch to look in here? Gonna need a little bit more force than that. Tony's gonna have a lot of explaining to do if she finds the money and the nail. I wanted him to fuck me just so I can get back at you. But all he wanted me to do was drip candle wax on his butt. <laughs> oh, damn. He told me to rub his dick raw with the cheese grater. No. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> a cheese grater? Beat one of that. Just for, uh, I forget. She was pregnant. Maybe you're feeling guilty because he's a friend of yours and you're cuckolding him. Business associate of mine's got two full families and the second wife busts his balls identical to the first. He sounds like a textbook masochist. Like I said, I'm beaten when I was a kid. But I'm not going around looking for some woman to hook up jumper cables to my private. <laughs> if a guy like that, he could technically not have penis every contact with her valve. He just really wants to make sure his penis doesn't touch anything that Ralph's penis touches. Hello? Changed his mind. I guess so. But it's actually in the financial area. You're gonna play a prank. Man, if your husband doesn't come home, oh, to time to find that money. This is only part of it, right? I think he has it in different Spots. baskets. I wonder if she's just gonna take some and just not tell Tony. I think that's exactly what she's gonna do. I bought Cookie a card from the gift shop downstairs. I cared enough. Cookie needs a little talking to. Oh, nice. Oh, she knows. Well, she reciprocates. Yeah, Tony will find out. A hundred percent. Oh, 
I can get behind Furio becoming the new main character. <laughs> Your love for Furio is blinding you. <laughs> oh, I was like, what is going on? It's in a light batter, fried till very, very crisp. I definitely <laughs> thought this was a one-sided thing. No, they both want it. I've never been fucked so long. Or so good. Oh, really? <laughs> All of the olives. Mom always told me not to let myself be talked down to by losers. Nice. Good job, Adriana. You were a kid. Did she ever... Uh... No, I gotta go. That was abrupt. He did not want to talk about his mom. Tell your mother to be patient. Things will settle down. Someone will likely pass away and she can just slide into the group. Also, she's a tattletale. She tells on the other girls for the slightest infraction. She's a snitch? You might want to talk to her about this. Damn, this is deep. Yeah, are you ready to write on this pillow or do you have paper this time? She go back on everything still and me get set. Oh, I don't got a right to be concerned. Can you be there by noon? Nothing could keep me away. Does Tony have like a magic penis or something? <laughs> I'll see you and Sue this afternoon. He <laughs> fell asleep. Really? He's the principal, right? Yeah. I broke up with Ralph. I just couldn't take it. He brought out this leather mask with this funny. I... <laughs> this means we can be together. I'm a happily married man with two kids. Not very happy. Why not? For one thing, I already took his horse. <laughs> I mean, he did take the horse. 9,900. Interestingly, at $10,000, we're required by law to notify the IRS. Wow, very interesting. I want it in something safe, something old economy, maybe treasuries. And she's not going through Brian. No. Ooh, it's at least 40 grand. Or one of them had a times two bite, I think. So maybe she took 50 grand, setting up her own little future. Like the song? Isn't the song that's playing? Something into the future. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, that's for Bobby. And Jane, can we uh, shut this off for a minute? I got something I gotta ask. Oh, the uh, fuck, the robots? Oh, is she gonna. Ba Battle bots? Oh, I love that show. <laughs> She's gonna ask her about Ralphie's. Oh, sex? Ex sex capades? Yeah. I'm trying to find out about his sex life. Who would know better? He would. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking me to betray confidences. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like you got your answer. $3,000. Oh! <laughs> what? How'd you come up with that figure? It's a number that I thought you'd say yes to. You thought right. Damn! He bottoms from the top. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> no. He can't get hard that way. And if he could, I don't think they need to want to. So he just needed the... Uh, One of the confirmation. The confirmation, yeah. I just had to get my head into a place where I felt that I could really come in. Gonna notice some money missing? Yep. Well, Carmela wasn't really secretive about it. How do you confront Carmela about this? Here the senior citizen is king and queen. I know. Oh. These people don't fool around. You're afraid of them. Of course he it is. broke his arm. We're going to have to let you live in a different home. Ooh. The Salvation Army has one in Irvington that's supposed to be perfectly fine. Fine. Oh, oh Carmela. Uh, hi, dear. I don't know. I feel like Tony would be stupid enough to come in guns blazing. Yeah, that sounds like Tony. <laughs> I need decaf. Well, I can make decaf. What's your plan? Or are you just considering this even? Something wrong, Tony? No. Why? Okay. Just move on. You went in the backyard the last couple of days. Ooh. It's freezing out there. The pool guy come around? Why would he? All right, I'm going upstairs. <laughs> hey, Jim. There's not something you want to talk about? No. Okay. Like what? God, how does this marriage work? <laughs> All right, that was episode seven and eight of The Sopranos. What'd you think? Those were very interesting episodes. I liked them, especially this last episode, like one of the better episodes of the season. It definitely had not necessarily suspense, but I guess just excitement in terms of what people were doing, whether it was like good or bad, mostly bad, but <laughs> bad excitement. 
<laughs> there was a lot going on. So Adriana and Christopher, Christopher just sucks. Real dick move to call her damaged goods. Like, come on. Yeah, I mean, that whole conversation, I think we said it before that we've been annoyed with Christopher when we first started this series and then we've tried to root for him, but it just feels like he just constantly is screwing up, whether it be with work or with Adriana. It's hard to like root for him. It's getting real hard to root for anyone. <laughs> True. I think that's my biggest takeaway. These like last couple of episodes or last couple of seasons in general, everyone is just such a huge piece of shit. <laughs> like obviously Christopher with how he treated Adriana and that, Holly, with how much he's talking to New York, mm -hmm. is just despicable and yeah. thinking like, oh, like nothing's gonna get out, right? Like, you know what you're doing. Yeah. Ralphie, he's always fucking terrible. Furio, I mean, Furio's great, but he's gonna maybe push it a little too far with Carmella. I'm very interested to see where this goes. And then even Tony uh, has been just a huge piece of shit. I with mean, like, Tony's kind of always been. He's but. always been a piece of shit, but even more so, I mean, he's back to cheating on Carmella. That's always kind of been on off, but at least for a period of time, it was off. I need money from her and the family. The fact that in episode seven, he beat the fuck out of the assemblyman because uh, he was with his girl, even though the assemblyman asked for his permission. And then in episode eight, he's fucking someone else's girl. I don't know. I mean, that's what it is with Tony is like, he never wants to take accountability for anything. He just places blame on everyone else. He's the way he's so hard on everyone else, but it's also like the wishy-washy like behavior, especially we see that with the assemblyman. Um, we also see it with Ralphie's girl, just like the back and forth, like, giving mixed signals on things, telling the assemblyman it's okay, but then coming in and literally beating him. Yeah. Like none of it makes sense. It's really like spur of the moment type yeah. of behavior for almost everyone. Yeah. Um, I mean, even uh, there was a great comment. I think it was maybe Carmella or something talking about how Tony just is like brings people into his sphere or like his universe oh, or whatever. Yeah. So is exactly what he's doing with the cousin, Brian. Brian. Totally like legitimate, legal working guy and stuff. Yeah. And now like that little corruption, the stolen suit and the $15,000 watch. And now the ideas of, hey, here's a little scam you can pull off, lying to Carmela. That's gonna escalate into something terrible for sure. So I think Tony is just like negative ball of gravity and he just like pulls people in. It's terrible. Yeah, and I think when it comes to Brian, I think it's gonna end really terribly. And I feel like it mostly has to do with the fact that he's gonna get, what is it? Like too big for his britches or whatever. Some, yeah. Um, I mean, the whole night out when they're at the bar, he wakes up in the morning, just like no pants, like on the floor. <laughs> Right. Like, he couldn't even handle a night out with these guys. I feel like something really bad is gonna happen. Yeah, he's gonna start getting a little taste of all of these like little perks and presents and gifts and stuff. It's not gonna be good. Carmilla already has enough reasons to hate Tony and destroying her cousin. It's gonna just put it over the edge. Yeah, and I, I feel like Carmilla maybe knows if she's like going to these different banks for investments. I understand she can't put in more than 99. 10,000. 10, yeah. But she didn't even take any of it to him. So it feels like she knows that she can't even tell him without it getting back to Tony. Yeah. It's like he's already lost to Tony. Yeah. So as exciting as it was for all of the characters and just the crazy shit that they're getting into, uh, there was a big success for Tony and the assemblyman and whoever that other guy was with the whole housing development scam. Yeah, I was surprised how well that kind of went off for Tony, but obviously there was that kind of hiccup of not knowing that there were people squatting in the house. Right. Until Tony literally drove by with AJ. That was a lot and you know, it's like one of those things that Sopranos just puts in and it'll never come up again. Yeah, and I think uh, the show does a great job because a lot of times it does feel like glorifying certain aspects of this life. Yeah. And then they'll like hit you to be like, hey, remember, everyone's a piece of shit. 
this world is a piece of shit. Remember that. Mm -hmm. So like that scene of like the little kid coming up and being like, oh, are you going to be putting like nice new houses here? And yeah. you're just like, no, they're not doing shit. They're making yeah. it worse and then leaving. Yeah. And then they're going to just leave it empty where yeah. there's going to be more squatters and... And potentially the guy who got shot was maybe your dad, possibly. I feel like that's what that connection was. Who knows if he's okay or not. Yeah, that was brutal. I mean, those kids went in and they looked like kids. Yeah. Um, went in, guns blazing, and there were like kids and a ton of people in that house. I feel like a, a big moment for that is the aftermath, how the assemblyman he was clearly like feeling a certain type of way about this in a, in a bad way. Like, what are we doing? And he was talking with his, I think, former partner and to be like, remember how we started? Like we were going to change the world and help everyone. And the other guy had a great line of like, are we supposed to be the only honest guys here? And I feel like that's the show. Yeah. It's like everyone is terrible. Yeah. We even see the FBI who you would maybe consider as like the good guys. And they're having a horrible conversation about Adriana, like how that one girl will just talk about like, oh, I don't think we need to worry about her having kids anytime soon. Kind of shit talking about like, oh, she's going to be fucked if they get married and have kids. Like everyone in the show is terrible. So it's like that conversation to be like, are we supposed to be the only good people? Because if we decide to be the good people, they're just gonna replace us with someone else who's gonna do the job and the world's gonna keep being shit. It's dark. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very bleak outlook. But yeah, I mean, like you said, it kind of sums up the show. With that deal going down, it obviously made its way to New York through the way of Polly. Polly cannot keep his mouth shut. I don't think he wants to keep his mouth shut. Yeah. I don't know if there will be any consequences but New York just keeps putting more and more pressure. When I say New York, I mostly talk about Johnny Sachs. Yeah. Even when I say like, oh, New York needs to get taken out. Obviously I know New York is superior to the Soprano family. I've said that before. So when I say New York, I'm specifically referencing Sachs guy who New York was totally okay with killing at one point. Yeah. So, hey, they agree with me. <laughs> But yeah, that could be totally bad. It could just continue to add fuel to the flames or to the fire. And I feel like we got a lot of insight into Tony as well in terms of his just like pursuit to find out if that new girl had any sort of like penis contact with Ralphie. That was wild. The fact that he went to Janice and then also willingly paid her $3,000 <laughs> to know what Ralphie likes, like, just stop cheating on your wife, number one. But like, you also had to pick her. I mean, I am getting very like Gloria vibes out of this relationship. Absolutely. She was just immediately screamed Gloria. Yeah, like she's very infatuated with him. He clearly feels the same way. Like their sexual interactions, it just all feels very like deja vu right. to Gloria. And obviously, like we knew going into this that Gloria was suicidal just because we knew from Dr. Melfi. Right. We didn't really have a lot of background on this woman. But she already seems crazy. Like, I mean, she said like, oh, I, like I won't say that I love you because- I say it to every other guy. <laughs> yeah, I need, to, I need to not do that. It's like, okay. <laughs> I mean, she already slapped Tony yeah. and she's already like at dinner calling him over and like trying to have private conversations. I feel like she just screams another relationship where she could just want to blow shit up and Tony's gonna have to somehow bury it. For her to also in that same conversation, she was like, not asking for much, like two to three nights a week. I'm like, what do you expect a married man to do? Two to three nights a week. Yeah, like that's a lot. <laughs> I immediately felt that way too. I was like, this is just like Gloria. Yeah. She damn near looks like Gloria. Yeah. And it's just so interesting that, you know, Tony, not for a second is he concerned about, oh, should I be having sex with like one of my guy's girls because he feels bad about it? It is all about like, oh, I just feel weird having sex with a girl who also had sex with this guy. Yeah. Like it has nothing to do with him feeling bad. No. So it's just like, Tony doesn't give a shit about other people. No. Like he doesn't even care enough about Carmela. I mean, he like met her halfway, but he hides tons of fucking money from his own family. Yeah, and the whole like nail 
Oh my God, like when Carmella found that, like I feel like this is, they're at like a stalemate. Yeah. If that's the correct term for it. Carmella took that money. She left the nail for Tony. Tony found the nail and he's very much aware that some of that money is gone and it had to have been Carmella. Like next to the keys is where that nail is. Right. Neither of them want to bring it up. Like Carmella's not going to be like, well, I found this nail. Like, what are you doing? And he's going to be like, well, you took my money. And then he's not going to be like, what happened to my money? Right. And then she's going to bring up the nail. It's definitely like, a, I know what you did and you know what I did. Whatever, fair game, good job. Like we both won or we both lost. So on to the next battle. I also am very curious, like if, like Carmela is 100% certain at this point that he's still sleeping around, like what's gonna happen when Furio comes back? Yeah, I mean, the crazy thing is like, Carmela has had opportunities in the past, like that one construction guy or oh, whatever. Yeah. But Carmela, she has that faith in her where she's just like, oh, I need to be loyal to my man. Yeah. Like, even though he fucks literally any woman who walks in front of him. Yeah. So I don't think anything's gonna happen with that Furio situation. I would fully support the campaign for Furio to take out Tony Soprano. <laughs> Furio becomes the new man, the new Soprano man in the household. <laughs> and we're just like, okay, it's Furio and Carmella now. And AJ's like, hey dad. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's definitely not going to happen. No. If anything, Furio, uh, this is his start of his demise, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously if something did happen, Tony will find out and Furio will die. Yes. Or I guess maybe get sent back to Italy. No, I think having sex with the boss's wife is a automatic death sentence. So just a ton of crazy development in these two episodes. Real exciting couple of episodes. Yeah. Real shitty behavior from everyone. I just have no idea where it's going to go next. I feel like Sopranos always does a great job, not necessarily like leading you in any direction one way or the other. Yeah. Like I could not make a prediction for what's going to happen in the next episode. <laughs> no. <laughs> and none of this could even matter. Yeah, exactly. I do feel bad for uh, Polly's mom, but then also if Polly's mom is kind of gross and cries all the time with her teeth out, like, okay, I can kind of see that, but I did not know that old folks homes were so brutal. Oh, for sure. They have to be super clicky. Oh man, that makes me scared. If I make it to an old folks home, I hope so. <laughs> Sounds great, <laughs> except for the clickiness. But uh, yeah, this is a great couple of episodes. Super excited for what's to come. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.